Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to solve this algebra problem together. Why don't you pause the video, try it out on your own, and press play when you're ready. Okay, so in this problem, it says Sean's team has a baseball game tomorrow, and he pitches 50% of the games. So let's say we have an event A, right, and that's when the event where Sean pitches. So Sean pitches. Okay. And there's a 40% chance of rain during the game tomorrow. So let's say there's an event B, and that's where it rains. Okay, so we have these two events, A and B, and they're telling us that the probability of A happening, where Sean pitches, that's, that's half, that's 50%. And the probability of it raining, the probability of B happening, is 40%. Okay. If the probability that it rains, given that Sean pitches, is 40%, all right, what is going on over there? Well, that's saying uh, the probability that it rains, so B, and in math we can say given that A has happened. In other words, uh, it's raining given that Sean has pitched before, and that's a, that's a probability, you could say, it's the probability of it raining given that you know Sean is pitching. And they're telling us that that probability is also 40%. And you might notice, oh, look at that. These two probabilities are equal. Now, the, the big idea here is that if the probability of B equals the probability of B given A, if these two things are equal, and they are here, then your two events are independent. All right, so this is our answer. Now, if you just give me a moment, let me explain some of the intuition around this idea. Um, basically, what's happening is the probability of B happening, of it raining, is the same given that Sean has pitched. In other words, Sean pitching, knowing that fact has happened first, had no impact on whether or not it will rain, which makes sense, right? Independent events means two events whose probabilities don't alter each other's directly. They, they have no impact on each other. It would be really strange if Sean pitching somehow lowered or raised the probability of it raining. So they should be independent of each other. They should not change each other. So the probability of it raining, whether or not Sean has pitched or not, so given that Sean has pitched or not, should be the same. It's unchanged. So those two are equal, and that's point four. For a more mathematical explanation, I might uh, go over that in other videos, but that's just the basic idea right here. Uh, dependent, choice two, that would be if they were not equal. In other words, if, it, if Sean pitching lowered or raised the probability of it raining, in other words, if A had an impact on B, where they depend on each other, they would be called dependent events. If somehow, mutually exclusive means the two events can't happen at the same time. So that would just mean that the probability of A and this is the symbol for end, the intersection. If the probability of A and B both happening was zero, if they put, if they could not both happen, if somehow it was impossible for Sean to be pitching and it for it to be raining at the same time, that would be a mutually exclusive event. That's not really going to fit this context, so it's not the answer. We know that's dependent. And complements, two events that are complements of each other, the definition of a complement would be that the probability of A equals 1 minus the probability of B. In other words, there's two options. One's 100%. So either A or B will happen. So the probability of A or B put together is 1. So reversing that, it would, you would say 1 minus the probability of B is the probability of A, which is not the case here. So that was a really quick explanation of the other choices, but I'll go more into depth of those in other videos. All right, hope this helped.